Hello and welcome to this edition of What's New in Office 2007. My name is Bob Lenkavix and today we're going to be looking at some great improvements in booking appointments when you combine Outlook 2007 on the client side and Exchange 2007 on the server side. Let's go ahead and begin by creating a brand new appointment. And when I go to create an appointment or a meeting request, one of the typical challenges that a lot of people will face is understanding when people are available and when they're not available. The challenge becomes exponentially more difficult as we start to add in additional resources like rooms or go with larger numbers of folks. So we've put in some great improvements via something called the scheduling assistant, which helps you get a better color coded output of attendee availability and help you better understand the most optimum days and time frames that will work for the folks that you have in mind. So let's say that I'm looking to create an appointment and I'm going to invite people via a meeting request and I want to know the best possible time. So I want to select several folks to invite to this meeting. And again, as I start to increase this list exponentially, it's going to get more and more challenging to find the time frame when all these folks are available. Typically, I could either look at their free busy times and perhaps in the past, you might have leveraged the auto pick feature, which can find an appropriate time frame. But by now pressing the scheduling assistant button, it's going to consume the free busy times and or the published calendars of folks that you have access to and will actually give you over here on the right hand side a color coded calendar to give you a better idea of when folks are or are not available. So notice they'll be color coded with white being good, light blue being fair and dark blue being poor. So I could see, for example, wow, things don't look good for the end of May right now. Let's take a look maybe over in early June by comparison. And again, it will churn, hit against the free busy information and then color code the information to let me know. So if I look at the month of June here, hmm, looks like the 19th and the 26th are listed as the best possible days. So if I look at the 19th, it'll actually show me the given time frames, okay, four out of five are free, five out of five are free. If I look at the 26th, hey, we, we've got a slot. So at 12 p.m., we actually have five of five free. At the other times, I might be able to get a majority of folks to be able to attend, but I noticed I might be able to see, hey, everyone's able to make the meeting except for nils. So maybe we still can proceed, maybe we can't, but I get better information for exactly what's going on. Now by comparison, if I tried something like June 3rd, it could actually say that, sorry, folks aren't available. There's a majority of folks that are away on travel, so I'm not even gonna provide any options for you here. So the real key to remember is that if you're trying to book appointments more effectively and have meeting requests that engage a large number of attendees or attendees and resources like conference rooms for example it's very easy to come in and add attendees add rooms etc and then find information about when folks are available and the scheduling assistant tool which works great not only when I'm using the Outlook 2007 client but also if I'm trying to leverage the Outlook web access functionality available within Exchange 2007 give great, great improvements over previous features like auto pick that would simply look for the next available time frame. Now I could weigh back and forth, not only the optimum times and dates, but also if we do need to hold the meeting within the next three hours or the next four days, for example, I can get a better idea when particular folks might be available. I could even decide I want to change the time frame of the meeting. Well, what if we try to change it to a one hour meeting, for example? Are we going to have better luck in late May? So just by changing the duration time, I could jump back to May and I could see a better example of when things may work. So, hey, we might be able to work out something on the 28th. Hey, 1130 a.m., five out of five people are going to be free and again at 12 p.m. So fantastic way to be able to very quickly and easily find availability and create meeting requests more effectively. So thanks for joining us for today's session on what's new in Office 2007. My name is Bob Linkavix. Have a great day.